May Fund. Um, the Sydney May Fund was set up by myself in 2009 when Sydney May was diagnosed with dystonic cerebral palsy. Your blind in the light, turn on us to gate so wide. Star hands come so tight. Waiting for the heat of the storm. The pepper and the hell of a Now we're both are satisfied. She's three and a half years old. She's an absolute gorgeous little girl, very happy, very content. Um, her, her, prog her prognosis isn't amazingly um, positive as we once thought it would be. Um, she suffered a severe lack of oxygen during her delivery, which actually means that she can't sit unaided, she can't crawl, walk, talk or selfie or anything like that. However, tonight is not about sympathy and doom and gloom because as a family we just get on with it and she's such a happy girl, has an amazing quality of life. So we want to pay for private speech and language therapy but it's £60 an hour and we need about two hours a week broken up into half hour slots. So as I've said, we don't have that kind of money and more does the average family. We need to pay for private physio to see if we can get her at least to be able to sit unaided so at least she's not laying on the floor all the time. We also want to buy a communication aid, whether it be an iPad with specialist programs on it or whatever she can use, so that all the while she's not got words, she can kind of point at a screen so we can have her basic needs met. I was born on the 18th of May 2008 in Hayward Teeth and before long I was transferred to Brighton and for the next 15 days the battle of my life was to commence. I was put on a ventilator and within four days I was taken off. I was not going to give up without a fight. At nine days old I was given an MRI brain scan and uh, on the 15th day the news was given that I'd suffered significant brain damage. At this point, I was allowed to go home. After eight agonising months of tests after tests with no answers whatsoever, I was diagnosed with dystonic, cerebral palsy, due to lack of oxygen at birth. And as strange as it sounds, um, it was a relief to everybody, especially mum and dad, because at last we knew we were fighting. We were fighting exactly what we're going to do. But there are three people tonight that we wanted to thank, isn't there, Sydney May? Um, firstly is Taylor. Sydney May couldn't ask for a better brother. Um, obviously Sydney May comes along um, and all of a sudden you have to share everything uh, with her um, and you do it with a smile on your face. We all know that Sydney May greatly looks forward to growing up together and becoming best friends but she hasn't forgotten about your promise of when you're older you're going to build an extension for Sydney May to come and live with you. If you're not organising events or training for races, you're recruiting people to add sale of buildings and the crazy thing is there's so many of us in this room that are actually doing it. Um, you don't take no for an answer, you fight and you fight and you fight and you don't care who you have to fight. Dad. Daddy Ross here. Um, firstly I want you to know how grateful I am for the hours you work to provide me um, with everything that I need, um, all the hours of blood, sweat and tears that you put in for training for marathons and your races that you do, you show me so much love every single day and I'm blessed that you are my daddy.